Here, DK cancels fall damage by landing on a slippery slope. The sliding state takes priority over splatting from fall damage, which saves a couple of seconds. DK also somehow activates the warp pad even though it's way down there. This happens because a Kong leaving a platform doesn't enter a falling state until the next frame. So for one frame, the Kong is still considered to be on the ground, except the ground is now whatever surface is below them. If that happens to be a banana plate warp, it will be activated. Even though the door isn't open, the loading zone that leads to the boss is always behind it. Because it extends infinitely under the door, it's possible to enter the boss fight from way down there. A face walk is used to clip out of bounds because it's the fastest method, but there are many other ways to skip colored bananas. The intro cutscene of this boss is lengthy, so it's faster to exit the fight and re-enter it. When entering for the second time, Give me one more chance, dude. Just one more chance. Saves around 40 seconds. However, because main menu mode prevents pausing, DK has to void out and travel all the way back to the boss door. As you can see, this is still barely faster than watching the cutscene. This fight is normally done with Kaimi and her ponytail twirl ability, but DK can still do it using kicks, jumps, and moon kicks. One thing to note is that the switches that appear at the end of each phase are random, but not completely random. When Mad Jack starts his final jump before coming out of the box, the game determines which pillar is a valid place where the switch can spawn. It rules out the pillar Mad Jack is jumping to, the pillar that the is to, as well as all four adjacent pillars. Since the correct switch has to be on the same color as Mad Jack, this leaves anywhere between 3 and 7 possible pillars for the switch to be on. The rest is up to the game's random function, so DK's movement was carefully planned to manipulate this randomness and minimize the travel distance to the correct switch in every phase. There's another detail that makes Mad Jack very hard to optimize. This boss always tries to go towards whichever pillar is the closest to the Kong. In phases 1 through 3, he usually never goes back on the previous or the current pillar, but in phases 4 and 5, he does. On top of that, if the pillar Mad Jack is about to jump to is also the closest pillar to the Kong, or in other words, if Mad Jack is one tile away, he will do a slow jump, and if the Kong is far away, he will do a fast jump. The number of jumps is fixed, so to speed up the fight, Mad Jack needs to do a fast jump as many times as possible. In this task, there is one slow jump. The very first one, because that's unavoidable. Every other jump is a fast jump, which makes Mad Jack's movement optimal. Mad Jack's flipping sound is actually the exact same as DK's slapping sound. If you don't believe me, listen carefully here. With the right timing, a moon kick can be cancelled with a jump, in which case the jump will have the same reduced gravity. Here, Ring Rush abuses Mad Jack's behavior to get him to jump back and forth. When choosing which tile to go next, he doesn't optimize his direct distance to DK. Instead, he always moves along this axis until he's aligned, and then moves along the other axis. By going back and forth along this axis while staying far away, DK forces Mad Jack to do the same.
What was that weird sound? That was the sound of the weirdest glitch ever discovered in this game. The sound itself is used when shooting homing ammo. For some absurd reason, pressing all four directions at once on the D-pad while in a level lobby can sometimes make the homing ammo sound. Nobody knows why. It's utterly confusing, completely useless, and it was included in this task only to make my task a little bit harder. Now, the only thing left to do with a chance, man, come on! Oh my god. Normally, the final boss appears after turning in all eight keys and freeing Key Lumsy. Is that it? Follows where he knocks Kiril's airship out of the air. Yes! 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 Losing no, match against King K. Rule and Boss is already waiting out his attacks, so not much can be done to save time besides reducing lag to a minimum. Ring Rush uses this opportunity to showcase glitches, like clipping out of the ring and into the stands. DK shoots out of each barrel at the earliest possible time to register a hit. It's over. Hi, cat. Hi. I have no words. I have no words. After 12 hours of nothing but grinding, after a mental block that lasted almost two weeks, I finally clutched it out. You do not want to know the intense amount of suffering that went into getting this time. But it's over. It's done. I can finally move on. I have nothing else to say. I... Good luck to Verdict going forward, trying to beat this time. I'm sure you can do it. This is not the lowest this category can go, not by a long shot. But I have reached my goal, and I am done. I am not touching this game again for a while. I need a long-ass break.